September has finally arrived and it's time to kick off the fall season with some fun fall inspired rocks. I'm going to use my Thule Art Earth and Skin Tone paint pen set to create some neat little boho inspired kindness rocks. Now that I've picked out my color combinations, I'm just going to start by creating some color blobs is what I'm going to call them. So imperfect little blobs of color and I'm going to fill them in. They're going to come in sets of three on each rock, the color combinations that I picked out that you saw a little bit earlier. And I'm just going to fill in these blobs of color. And some of these paint pens have not been used in a while and you can see they don't have the best coverage. They need to be shaken up really well. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of... Um, double coats to make sure that we've got it nice and filled in and that the paint pens are back to full working order. And if you don't have the paint pens, you could absolutely do these color blobs with just regular acrylic paint and a paintbrush. Um, that's the beauty of them being kind of imperfect and they can play off the shape of each other. But just pick out three colors of acrylic paint that you like. I tried to pick colors that spoke of fall to me so you've got oranges and browns and grays and dark greens and there's one towards the end that's maybe a little more pink and blue and I don't know that that's so fall colored but um comes in some gray hues so you know I like the color combo so whatever works but you can definitely use acrylic paint to do this if you don't have the paint pens I don't know about you guys, but I think I am happy for fall to arrive. I'm ready for it. This Labor Day weekend, we had cool, rainy, drizzly weather, and I loved it. We made some chili, and we're going to enjoy the nice day today and get one final barbecue in, but I'm ready for fall. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments if you're ready for fall or you still want a little bit more of summer sunshine. got all the color blobs filled in I'm gonna take an uni pin fine line pen this is the 0.8 size and I'm gonna draw some sketchy leaves onto these so I pulled up on Pinterest just some hand-drawn leaves sketchy leaves and use that for inspiration but I just kind of want the line drawn leaves that will be nice and sweet and they cross over all of our color blobs so that's kind of the fun of the color is because it's line drawings the color shows through the middle of the design and you can add little accent lines and you can use the shape of the rock to add more little accent leaves and kind of foliage designs you can kind of just do what you want with these and making some really little tiny leaves on kind of an arched line using the shape of the rock so you just go to town pull some stuff up on Pinterest or Google to get some inspiration. I'm also going to write hello fall on this rock. I'm going to write hello in script and then fall in print and on the hello I'm going to come back and thicken up my downstrokes to give the faux calligraphy look and it just kind of fills in that little blank space over on the gray color blob. This is the lighter color rock with my questionable fall colors, but I decided I was going to play around with kind of a heart-shaped leaf. It's like a flipped upside down heart, and I'm going to add the normal leaf lines in there, but then I started to get a little bit zentangly with it and just adding extra lines all over the place to kind of create tons of little... Are they called veins on a leaf? I feel like I always end up with some sort of 
technical question about nature or whatever is going on these rocks, but I'm going to add these sort of veins, that's what I'm going to call them, to the leaves. And it reminded me of sort of a Zentangle design to um, help usher in fall. Then I'm just going to use the shape of the rock again and create some little branchy, um, I guess they're like little branches, but not really, because I'm going to add little circles on each of the ends of these, just some kind of extra decorative foliage to this. And then again, I'm going to write the hello fall across the top of the rock. Now, some of these rocks were really dark and I had the idea to get out my Pen Touch Gold paint pen. I believe this is a Sakura pen, it's linked in the description, but I thought gold might really show up on these darker colors. So I'm making another leaf with the gold marker. It ended up being perfect for the leaf, but when I wrote the Hello Fall, it was a little hard to read, so I did end up coming back and adding some shadow with a black pen just so that the writing stood out. But I thought the leaf, this color just popped. It was really pretty. So I made a, a leaf with some accent veins and wrote Hello Fall. And this screams fall to me because of the gold and the browns and the green. It's just perfect fall colors. Now on this rock, I decided to get out my Posca PC1MR, which is a little bit thicker than the Uni Pin Fine Liners. So this one's black, but I'm kind of going to use black and the gold on this one. So I'm creating those little branchy accents using the shape of the rock, and I'm going to write Hello Fall in the middle using the faux calligraphy and the print. But then I'm going to come back in with the gold pen and I'm going to add gold dots to the end of each of the branches. And I really like how this one came out because it gave a nice accent of both the black and the gold. Um, just enough little shimmer and shine and perfect little fall colors. You slap a little resin on these babies and look how pretty they turned out. Have you started on your fall rocks yet? Maybe you've already jumped into Halloween. I know a lot of people are. I even saw a Christmas rock the other day. Whatever you're working on, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. There's much more to come. I have a lot of ideas jotted down. Take care and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.